two girls' best friends were enjoying some time together when the most horrific thing happened. Their lives were stolen, cut short by an absolute monster. This sketch captured the attention of people around the world. We all wondered who this monster was. This man in the sketch became the main suspect in Abby and Libby's killings. It took years for police to arrest Richard Allen, and honestly, he looks so much like the sketch, it's scary. Jury selection started this week and is moving quite rapidly. If Richard is found guilty, he could face up to 130 years in prison. So far, seven women and five men, including a school counselor, a transportation director and a stay-at-home mom, will be tasked with deciding Richard Allen's fate. Opening statements are expected to take place on Friday, and the trial is expected to last a month. Well, today we heard some shocking new information that was released publicly for the first time. Defense lawyers for Richard made the startling admission that hair found in Abby Williams' hand didn't match Richard Allen. Attorney Andrew Baldwin made the comments during many opening statements preceding jury selection. Thought this definitely caused a lot of speculation. Do they even have the right guy? Was someone else at the scene too? It's being said that Richard confessed to the killings a number of times. However, the defense argued those confessions were made under duress and weren't trustworthy. They said Richard Allen confessed to details from the crime that were inaccurate. He also confessed to other crimes that didn't happen, his defense team said. More than 100 people will be called to testify between the defense and the prosecution. I think a main piece of evidence would be an unspent bullet that was found at the scene. This unspent bullet was linked to a gun owned by Richard Allen. Richard had admitted to investigators that he was on the bridge trail on the day the girls disappeared, but has pleaded not guilty to the charges. We will be following this trial very closely too, as many of us have waited a long time to see justice served for Libby and Abby. There is some speculation going around that Richard Allen is the wrong guy, the fall guy for these horrible killings. What do you guys think? Drop your thoughts down below.